My name is Sarah Nguyen. I am a filmmaker, an entrepreneur, and the founder of Nguyen Coffee Supply. Um, the idea started brewing around 2016 when I was noticing that there was really an emergence of Vietnamese food and culture happening in New York City. And in a really similar um, wavelength, I noticed that Vietnamese coffee as a beverage and as an idea was also becoming super trendy and like popping up in all these different coffee shops and menus. However, the more I looked into it, I realized that it was actually really hard to find actual Vietnamese coffee beans anywhere in New York City or on the market. People were using different types of coffee beans from all around the world and preparing it in a way that was inspired by Vietnamese coffee, usually by adding a little condensed milk, usually by using a dark roast, um, and then calling it Vietnamese coffee, but the core ingredient itself, Vietnamese coffee beans, wasn't really available. So at that time, I thought, um, well, maybe I could bring Vietnamese coffee beans to the United States. In 2016 is when I went to go visit my farmer in Da Lat, Vietnam, which is in the southern region. And we started to establish our relationship, and then I launched the company in 2018. So the traditional preparation of Vietnamese coffee in Vietnam is with the brewing method called the Fien. I like to describe the Fien as like an intersection between a French press and a pour over method because we have the pour over with the hot water entering the brewing method and then we have the gravity pull of the extraction of the beans and then we also have the immersion like a French press. However, the gravity is not as quick as a pour over and the immersion of beans is not as long as a French press. This is the Fien. It's a traditional Vietnamese brewing method. There are a few parts to it. This is the plate, and it has a bunch of tiny holes that you place on top of a cup. This is the brewing chamber. It also has holes inside, right? And then we place it on top of the plate. This is called a filter press that goes inside the brewing chamber on top of the coffee. So it's plate, brewing chamber, coffee, filter press, which also has holes, and then the lid. So for this one, we are going to do 22 grams of coffee. So we're just going to flush out the grinder with some of our beans first, in case there's any like residue from previous coffee beans. And now we can grind our beans. So what we're making today is called a cafe sera in Vietnamese, um, which means Vietnamese coffee with condensed milk in ice. So I like to use 0.5 ounces of condensed milk, just enough condensed milk to complement the coffee. I don't want to mask the coffee beans. I feel like Vietnamese iced coffee as a beverage has a reputation for being too sweet in America, um, which is unfortunate and that's really just a, a reflection of the preparation. But if you're using really good quality coffee and that's fresh roasted, you don't want to mask the coffee, right? So in our R&D, I figured that um, half an ounce works well. So now we're gonna put the plate on top and then, and then we're gonna tear it out. We're using 22 grams of coffee, ground at a fine setting. So first, you kind of want to just shake it out a little bit so that the grounds are even. Because if it's not an even distribution, then the water is going to flow through at an angle, which means all the grounds won't be fully extracted. Okay. And this, you can just drop it in. It kind of adds pressure to the coffee beans. Um, so you don't need to press it all the way down, because actually if you pack it too tight, the water won't flow through. So I just dropped it in, and now I'm going to tear it out and the water is at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So I add about 0.8 of an ounce. And I let it bloom for 30 seconds. You can add the lid on to kind of keep the heat in. And as it blooms, the coffee grinds are gonna rise and expand, which will then push the filter press up. So the filter press, the weight of the filter press with the bloom of the grinds and also the weight of the water kind of all helps with the extraction. Okay. And now I'm going to finish it off at 4.5 ounces. Okay. 
I'm gonna let it extract and then wait for it to blow um, to drip. I'm gonna add a little more. So for me, once the filter press gets like that, it's kind of really useless in there. So I usually just pull it out. And then we keep the lid on for keep the heat inside. Like that was the right brew, because usually the first drip comes around between one or two minutes. Mm -hmm. And then the final brew should be before five minutes. And what's when I'm really happy about this, no bias, is that it's dripping from the center, mm -hmm. which is a really good sign, because that means it was evenly distributed. If you see it dripping from one side, that means the coffee grinds aren't even. So we're at three and a half minutes right now since we started the first pour. Let's see, we finished by five. In Vietnam, this is called, this whole set is called Café Fien, which is coffee brewed through the Fien, Café Fien. But then there are different variations you can have it, which is Café Dan, which is straight black, so no condensed milk. Um, Café Sữa, which is black with condensed milk, but it's hot. And then Café Sữa, which is with ice, right? So people could actually drink it like right now if they wanted a hot coffee. Um, but I'll ask our guests how they like to try it. So a fun little trick with the fiend is that the cap becomes coaster. So you flip it and you place the whole thing on top so that it catches any other leftover drips. Do you want to do the honors? Oh, sure. Okay. You just stir it up. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Magical. You can take a sip first and try it as a hot beverage. Because when you add the ice, it does dilute it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I kind of just like want that. <laughs> I said, do you want to try some? This is with condensed milk. So I have to be honest, so my brew ratio of 22 grams to 4.5 ounces of water is a little different from how folks would do it in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. The final yield, as you can see, is about like 4, 3.5 ounces. In Vietnam, it's actually much more dense. So they might do 22 grams, so maybe like three ounces of water. So they like it really, really thick and dense, right? All right, can we get a cup of ice? You can try it with sure. ice. All right, Arty, you first this time. Yes. Swirl it around. Yeah, swirl it around so it cools down a little bit. That's delicious. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not sure what I prefer, I have them both. Yeah, me, yeah, it depends on the day. Yeah. Mm. Hot or cold? I don't know. I like the hot a lot. It's mm. so comforting with the condensed milk. Yeah. yeah. So our filter is always this tiny, because that's really nifty, but right. I imagine there's also larger versions. Yeah, right? no, this is, there are lots of different sizes for the Fiend. This is a small one, so yeah. it's perfect for a single brew. It's about four ounces, and then they also have sizes that are like six ounces, eight ounces, 10 ounces, or even 40 ounces. Enough to feed a village. Oh. Yep, yes, exactly. I had a question. Yes. So I once had a Vietnamese coffee with um, homemade coconut condensed milk. Yeah, yeah. Is that traditional yeah. or? A coconut coffee is really traditional in Vietnam. Right. There are lots of right. different ways to do it. We're actually going to make a version today. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to build like the coconut milk base of this coffee. We have condensed milk, 0.5 ounces. Um, now we're adding two ounces of regular milk. And then we're gonna add two ounces of coconut milk. So in this bowl is a can of coconut milk that we just whisked. And if you want to make a non-dairy vegan version of this, you can just sub the milk with the milk of your choice. And instead of using condensed milk, you, you can just use simple syrup. This is one of my favorite preparations of coffee, the coconut coffee, because it's really not too sweet. And it's really important that when I share recipes um, with Vietnamese coffee, with new coffee supply, that we don't overpower the coffee with sweetness or sugar. The only sugar coming from here is from the 0.5 ounces of condensed milk. And then it's just all natural coconut milk. Oopsies. All right. So cap becomes coaster. Grab the plate. Mm, so good. This is one of my favorites from um, our pop-up. 